Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the relation of the DFT to the Z transform. It is relation of the DFT with Z transform. In the first case, let us look at how to derive DFT from Z transform. So uh, first let us look at the definitions that is given a sequence X of n that is a given in the sequence the DFT X of Z is defined as the Z transform X of Z is defined as x of z is equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n so that is the definition of z transform so that is z transform now consider the z transform and so let us assume that this uh, z transform x of z is sampled that is this x of z is sampled on the unit circle on the unit circle that is this x of z is sampled uniform that is this x of z is sampled on the unit circle and the sampling rate that is the sampling rate is uniform sampling rate is uniform So let us assume that the number of samples, the number of samples is equal to n. That means we have n equally spaced samples on the unit circle corresponding to the x of z. That is on a circle of radius 1, we have k equal to 0, k equal to 1 k equal to 2 and so on up to k is equal to n minus 1 so these samples or these angles are all equal therefore we have n samples on this unit circle that means z is equal to or zk that is these samples are equal to e power j 2 pi k by n which are basically unit which are basically the roots of unity so these values are on this unit circle so note that this magnitude is equal to 1 so therefore x of k that is the dft can be defined as x of z at which for which z is equal to e power j 2 pi k by n or in other words x of k is equal to the sum n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n and z is replaced by these values e power j 2 pi k n by n however x of n is limited to limited to n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 values that is x of n has only n values Note that there is a minus here. So, therefore, the DFT x of k can be written as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k over capital. So, this is nothing but the actual definition of DFT. Therefore, the DFT x of k is given by x of z at z equal to e power j 2 pi k by n. So since this is z power minus n, we have e power minus j2 pi kn by n. Hence, we can derive dft from the z transform. Now, let us look at the derivation of the z transform from the dft. That is, now we want to relate x of z to dft. That is, how can we derive x of z from the x of k? Now, recall the definition of x of z, that is, summation 
from n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n z power minus n since x of n is limited to the interval 0 to n minus 1 we have this definition n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 now by using the definition of IDFT that is inverse DFT we can write this summation as summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n can be written by the IDFT as 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power plus j2 pi n k by capital N and then we have z power minus n and then uh, rearranging the terms that have n in the exponent we can rewrite this summation as 1 by n and then interchanging the sums that is summation uh, k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k that is gathering the terms which are only function of k mm, and then summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 e power j 2 pi k by n and then z power minus 1 whole power n so this is an exponent this is a series with the uh, um, base equal to e power j 2 pi k by n and multiplied by z power minus 1 so this is a finite series so this becomes 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k and then this sum can be written as 1 minus this value uh, power n that is e power j 2 pi k by n into z power minus 1 power n that is this value plus 1 divided by 1 minus this base value that is e power j 2 pi k by n multiplied by z power minus 1 and this value can be simplified further now let us simplify this uh, term in the numerator e power j 2 pi k by n multiplied by z power minus 1 whole power n and is equal to e power j 2 pi k into n by n and then z power minus n and this value is clearly equal to 1 because these n's cancel each other and this is e power j 2 pi whole power k which is basically 1 power k which is 1 so therefore this is equal to z power minus n now going back to this uh, value we can clearly replace this value with z power minus n therefore x of z becomes 1 minus z power minus n because this value is independent of k therefore it is 1 minus z power minus n divided by n and then we have the sum from k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k and this denominator so let us copy that summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k that is the dft divided by 1 minus e power j 2 pi k over n and then z power minus 1. So this is the uh, relation between the dft and x of z. So if you want to derive x of z from the known values of dft we can use this summation formula. So in summary we learned how to relate uh, the DFT to Z transform. Initially we learned how to derive the DFT from the Z transform and later this, this uh, relation helps us in deriving X of Z from the DFT. Thanks for watching.